What's up guys, it's Dark Lich, and uh, we'll see how this records. I want to show you a little bit about the tank. I know a lot of guys have been asking, so we're going to we're gonna show you it. <clears throat> first things first, let's look at the components. If you look, I have the tank in pieces. So let's go to look at the tank first, alright? I want to show you the meshes. If you look, I've got this tank brought in as static meshes in a whole bunch of pieces. And the reason why is because this way I can animate pieces of it. You understand? The treads and stuff. So now let's look at the tread. I want to show you something. If you look, this is the left tread. I have different materials for it so that I can animate it. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to make the window a little smaller so you can see the little uh, browser while I'm looking. Alright, and as you can see, if you look under mats, if I find this one, you'll see I have a, a moving backward one. So if I do real time, you'll see it's the track moving backwards, and I have a moving forwards one. If you see, it's the track moving forwards. So when you see it, it's playing this. Now, of course, I'm actually going to work on scaling this later, but for now, we're going to leave it as it is. Alright, so that's the track. Alright. Now, if we go into the tank again, you can see, make this bigger. Okay. Now, these are all separate pieces. This way I could rotate the turret, elevate the barrel. If you look, the projectile spawns here. I named this muzzle, so that I can put the muzzle flash there. Okay. And here's the wheels, the tracks. All right. You got a mini gun, which I'll be working on later. I'll be able to move this also. Okay, so this is a pawn. It is, I mean, a character. It's not a vehicle. So you're going to go to Blueprint, you go to Character, and you're going to add the stuff in there, okay? So that's basically where we're at. Now, I'm going to go back in. I'm going to take a look at the graph. This is the standard input right here. All right, what I did was I actually changed the turn rates. If you look the look rate and turn rates, they're 10. I, I think they were 5 by default. The elevation rate is 5. The rotation rate, which I created, is 35. And let's just see what we got. See, understand what I'm doing. Okay. Alright, you'll see that the tank itself, I can rotate the turret, lift the barrel up and down. The projectile is much faster than it was. Alright, but I can also drive forward while I'm rotating. Now if you look, let me rotate this bad boy around. You see the tracks going different directions? When I'm pressing those keys, I'm putting the forward and reverse rotations on the tracks. What I mean by that is, in the blueprint, if you try to take it off the inputs, it will continuously fire. Okay? So what I did was instead, under the moving inputs, if you look, I make it so you press the key, I'm setting that material. Which is you're going to get the mesh for the track left, if you look. I set the element index, and if you look right here, this is set to the track moving. Okay? When I'm turning, I set, depending on which way I'm turning, the one track to the forward movement and the other track to the rear movement. So when I'm rotating in place, the two tracks turn independently. In other words, one forward, one back, depending on which way I'm turning. The same thing. When I'm doing the up and down, I'm playing a sound, the turret move sound. All right, and when I'm doing the left to right, I'm playing the spin sound for for uh, turning the actual uh, housing itself. All right, and this are independent of the the axis is because the axis continuously fires. And all I basically do is I'm looking for the rotation. If the rotation is between negative 95 and 95, I'm going to do the the I can't move sound, which is a hydraulic limit. Okay. 
So if you'll look at the piece itself, you'll see that this is in fact a player character. Now, of course, the, the, the downside to this is that you cannot have it follow the terrain correctly without doing some math, and I'll be working on that later, but right now, basically the center of the tank itself is going to follow the terrain, and later on I'll play with getting it to tilt the right directions, because the vehicle blueprints just don't work, for me at least, for, for, for models like this. Um, I hope this helps clear some of it up. I mean, I'm, I, I did this terrain, if you look in World Machine, and I have the shading and stuff already on it. Um, I, I haven't seen any decent tutorials on how to do it. There's like one or two, so start with the basics. But basically, the World Machine is, is definitely the bomb for making these terrains, because for you to do this in the Unreal Engine would take you the rest of your life. It's absolutely just time-consuming as hell. So I basically generated this in World Machine and just imported it as an R16 and then threw the texture map on top and of course when you're building the terrain the most important part is it's going to show you the size of the terrain and you need to make sure that you set the scaling on on the mesh to that um, uh, let me see go back in here yeah under terrain if you look the landscape coordinates were 4336 when I created it. So I basically scaled those using landscape coordinates to that so that it matches the terrain correctly. You'll see it when you're creating the terrain, but uh, I'll get more into that later because let's just stick with the basics for now. Um, the other thing is that I've also got the sounds right here. So in the tank itself, I'm going to do the sounds depending on how much spawn projectile and. and it, <laughs> I chose two and a half seconds, but actually the tank fires slower, but we'll just go with that for now. Um, I, I hope this helps you a little bit. Um, I got the model from uh, TF3D. It's the M1 Abrams on their website, and all I did was basically bring it into 3D Studio and fix some of the textures, but basically this is that mesh. Um, I hope this helps, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Thanks a lot.